So let's talk a little bit about inequality and what it is. So let me ask, let me start by doing this. How many of you have, um, have read Harry Potter? All right, good. Love this audience already. <laughs> this is good. Now, Harry Potter is a real problem when it comes to inequality. Because I don't know about you, but I have calculated that I have spent thousands of dollars on Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, you can do your own calculation. But I had two sons. They were about Harry's age. Every time a book came out, I either I had to go stand in line at midnight and get two copies, or they, you know, when they got older, got to stand in line and get two copies, each hardback copies, right? Because they wanted it hot off the presses. They couldn't wait, and they spent the night reading it. I also wanted to read Harry Potter. I loved the books, so I had to get them on audio tapes, a third copy. So that's three times seven, 21 multiplied by about $25, $30. Do the math. Then there's the movies. What are they, 67 movies? Because they <laughs> turned every book into two or three movies to get as much out of us as possible, right? So take into account all the money you spent on the movies. And then add to that, the uh, Disneyland rides and the, all the other Harry Potter stuff that we have had to purchase to make our children happy. I've spent thousands of dollars. I indeed, if you look at my bank account, got poorer <laughs> by thousands of dollars because of Harry Potter. But the real evil here is not only did I get poorer, what happened to J.K. Rollins? She became a billionaire. I mean... Give me a break. This is horrible. <laughs> Inequality exploded. I got poorer. She got richer. This can't be good. We're told, we are taught, we read in every newspaper that inequality is a bad thing. Well, here's an example of inequality. She got rich. I got poor. She got rich off of my back. My money came out of my bank account. Straight, I mean, a few other people got rich in the meantime, right, in the middlemen, but straight into her bank account. And yet, we all feel like there's something wrong with this example, right? Why? Why, why isn't it comfortable to say, you know, this is a bad thing? Right? Well, because what happened? Why did we spend those thousands of dollars of Harry Potter? Why did we spend it? Yeah, because we enjoyed it. Because it gave us pleasure. Because it gave us certain spiritual values. We benefited enormously. I, I'm thankful to J.K. Rollins. If I met J.K. Rollins tomorrow in the street, I would say thank you for letting me spend those thousands of dollars. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I'm serious. I would. That's exactly what I would say to J.K. Rollins. Wow. The pleasure you gave us is unimaginable. Very few authors have ever given us, as a family, not just, as a, just for me individually, as a family, so much pleasure. So, did I really get poorer? No. I mean, I got poorer materially, but spiritually, I think I got richer. And I was happy to give up those thousands of dollars because I had fun. I enjoyed it. So I am richer for the having Harry Potter. And I don't... I, I, I'm happy that she got to be a billionaire. She deserves it. She made all of our lives better. She made the world a better place to live. And she got rich. Who cares? Life's not about money. I have to remind my leftist friends of this because the left seems obsessed about money. But I don't think life's about money. I would rather read the book than have the money in my pocket. I think most all of us would. That's why we gave up the money. Because we believe, let's say the book costs $25, that the book, the experience of reading the book, is more valuable to us as individuals than the $25 in our pockets. And that's how inequality is created. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI-TV.